Now see, this just makes me sick. The Atheist Gamer 100 had the nerve to make a video about me, talking about what a horrible person I am, how stupid I am, etc. And frankly, I don't give a shit. What I do give a shit about is the fact that he is defending pedophilia out in the open on YouTube. I will link to the video below that uh, Atheist Gamer 100 avidly supports and bashes anyone dismissing the video, downvoting it, etc when it is a display of child pornography. It is two at least ten year old boys uh, without any clothes on making out. And how is that acceptable? How is that acceptable behavior and how is it acceptable that these kinds of people are the ones that are moderators? You always notice that it is the people that defend internet moderators are sexual deviants and sexual criminals. I do not blame the so-called homosexual little boys. They're fucking 10 years old. They don't know what they're doing. They probably just did it to get views and proof is they got over a million views so they it worked. That's what they want. They want fucking attention. But we as adults should know better. Atheist Gamer 100 is an adult and should know better. The only explanation is either he's extremely immature and infantile in mind, or he's a fucking pedophile. Which one is it? And you notice he defends Steam and Sony Live and all these moderator type facets within the video game industry. And guess what? He's a sexual criminal. Just like Richard the Rapist Booler. Just like Stee. Just like Moot. That is why they are drawn to being moderators. Because they are rapists. They're not physically capable of raping women out in the street. So they rape people in the more metaphorical sense online, where no one can stop them, where no one will even try to stop them. This is how they are getting their outlet, by raping people online, by banning them, by censoring them, by setting the stage of what is and isn't acceptable speech. So I, I couldn't draw a better comparison and more evidence of the fact that moderators and rapists are one and the same more than this. Why else would Atheist Gamer 100 be defending this display of child pornography and condemning people who are disgusted by it, and rightfully so? So, congratulations, Atheist Gamer 100. In your attempt to try to villainize Jim Prophet and exalt Mr. Rep Zion, you've only made it look worse for your side by showing the sorts that hang around Mr. Rep Zion. We will see just how Mr. Rep Zion reacts when he figures out that all the people around him are child predators. Maybe then he will see the evils of moderators if he's not one himself. So, I guess that's it.